Hello guys, Miles here. Today I'm going to be showing a, a way to automate Britannia with AE2. It's pretty simple once you understand it. It's a subnet inside of a, your AE system with a pattern provider pushing into an interface that then pushes into a storage bus. The main concept being that this is in blocking mode and that this is the only storage container and that this hopper is locked. That way the only contents that can go through would be the item for this crafting. So go ahead and give an example here. Craft, let's say, four runes of water, which require two separate crafting recipes. You only one. The items are then stored in here. And then once it finishes, it drains the items down. And then they are in the system. And this can handle, handle complex things. So, for example, this requires both rune of fire and rune of water. And it can handle more than one recipe at a time. simple way to build it, but I'll get to that in a moment. Alright, to get started, you're going to go ahead and use a runic altar in the middle, then you're going to place a dispenser facing this direction. Inside of the dispenser, you're going to place a wand of the forest. You can use a mechanical user, but I prefer to use a dispenser, it works just as well and it's cheaper. Then you're going to place a repeater, a comparator, and then two repeaters facing this direction with four ticks of delay on each, and a single repeater facing this way with no ticks of delay. Then you're going to grab some redstone dust and link all of this up. Then you're going to want to play a place a vacuumulator here. Make sure it is set to redstone control high, not ignored. It'll default to ignored. Make sure it is on high. Then up top here, you're going to want to start replacing all the blocks here. Here, 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 and here. Oops. Like this, grabbing redstone, putting it this way. Next, you're going to want to place your open crate, your hopper, and your chest. Then you're going to want to place a block here, a block here, a redstone torch here, a comparator facing this direction off of this chest with a piece of redstone dust. Then you're going to want to place three or four blocks, five blocks in a horseshoe shape with three dots of redstone here and a repeater on four ticks of delay. Now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and place the mana source. You can do your normal survival source. I'm just using a creative source for demonstration purposes. Now that that is done, we can get into the AE section of this, which is fairly simple if you know how it works. You're going to place a storage bus on this with a negative value, then glass flux cable connecting this over here. Then you're going to want to place a, uh, oops, pattern provider here with an Emmy interface on this side, quartz fiber cable here, quartz fiber cable here, a toggle bus here, and that there. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to place an import bus on this with a piece of cable. Now all that is left is to put the patterns, which I forgot to grab from over here, and we're good to go. The final thing is to make sure that this changes from ignoring contents of the target inventory to do not push crafting ingredients into content containers of pattern input. This prevents it from dumping a bunch of items and making it like a jumbled mess. Now, double check that everything is good. Everything looks fine to me. This is on stone uh, strength high. This is pushing here. Everything looks good. You can go ahead and give it a shot. Coming into here, crafting two runes of water should be fairly simple if I cancel these from previous tests. Go ahead and just craft the two runes. And you'll see that it is dropping the items down. It starts crafting it. And then it picks it up. Now to show that it can do more than two items at once, we're going to head and do the rune of spring, and we'll have it make that. And it's gonna go ahead and drop the items down that it required to make the first rune. Then the second rune. And then the third round. It's fairly simple to do, but it's kind of complicated. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And to add more storage to this, you would simply just 
you know, to add more patterns, not more storage. You just add another pattern provider here, and then a storage or an interface over here yeah. like this. This would allow you to do, you know, effectively the same thing and just keep adding capacity to this one system. Uh, but be aware that if you do craft more than one thing at a time from it, it might get confused. So I'd recommend just making separate systems rather than doing that. Because if you were to like, for example, say having one pattern here and another pattern here, but this requires something from this one, it would get confused. So just make multiple machines when you fill up these patterns here. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope this helped.